Hey everybody, welcome to this wedding illustration tutorial. T today I'm going to show you how I use my table brush stamp to outline a table with linen and then I'm going to show you my process for adding colour to that table. I'm working in the Procreate app on my iPad Pro. Um, I've got here a screen sized canvas which I've already opened. I'll be using um, table number one for my table brush set um, and a couple of other brushes for my basic brush set. I'll add a link below for um, the link to my Etsy store and there is quite a few sets there with all kinds of brushes that you'll find useful. Okay, so to start this table with linen, I'm going to click on my layers panel and ensure I'm on a, a new layer. So we'll start with this layer one. I'm going to go select the correct brush, so select this brush icon. I'm going to go to my table brush set and we're going to be using table number one. Now I'm going to select the colour I want to use, so selecting this colour palette icon and I'm going to select a kind of dark tone blue. I'm going to make sure the opacity is up to 100% and I'm going to make this um, the size as large as possible and then what I'm going to do is tap on the screen so now you have the outline of your table now I'm just going to move this into the center so we can see it better and just slightly enlarge it back into the layers panel I'm going to slide this to the left and duplicate it and then what I'm going to do on this bottom layer so the, the, the layer number one at the bottom is color drop a white color into it. So I'm going to go into my color palette, select pure white and drag and drop this onto this layer. Now I can see this, this dropped correctly because in this layer panel here that you can see this white is kind of, it's filled the whole of the table up. What sometimes happens is the white will spill out into the whole of the, the canvas. Um, a way to check this is you can go into the background colour here and just change the background colour so we can see this was done correctly. Okay, so now we've got this bottom layer which is filled with white colour and a top layer which is just the outline. What I'm going to do now with this bottom layer selected is select this plus icon, creating a new layer and I'm going to tap on it and create a clipping mask. Now we're going to add the colour, so I'm going to go into my paintbrush library and I'm going to select from my basic paintbrush set the watercolour brush. I'm going to select a mid-tone blue and make sure the size is fairly large. Now what I can do with this clipping layer, um, you see this, little, this arrow that appears when you set it to a clipping layer. Um, it's going to reference the, the coloured pixels within this layer below. So basically everything that's white will now be something we can colour over. And this saves you time having to stay in the lines. So we're just going to really roughly colour this blue over this whole shape. And now I'm going to start adding different uh, darker blues and lighter blues to just start building up the layer effect. So I'm going to go into my colour palette, I'm going to select a darker blue for now. I'm sticking with the watercolour brush, I'm going to just reduce the size down. And then what I'm going to do, I, I generally always have my light source coming in from this top right um, angle. So if I can create a new layer here just to show you. This is usually this, the light source I would always have on mine. So let's go back into this clipping layer. And so if the light's coming from this angle, basically everything that's, that might be hidden from that light source is going to be a darker blue. So we'll just start by kind of going from the bottom, just dragging up. It's all very loose. It looks kind of messy to start with. Up to the top, just sort of adding flow and depth to this linen. Don't have to be too accurate. Once we've done the next few steps, it will all start to come together. You can imagine like this bit 
is slightly darker. And this watercolour brush is press sensitive, so if I'm to press really lightly with it, you'll see it doesn't hardly let me try that on a new a new layer. You don't get much colour. If I start pressing harder, you start to get a darker colour. So you can start building this up, start with the light pressure, and then as you start getting more comfortable, just add a little bit more pressure to make those blues darker. Now I'm going to come in and pick a lighter shade of blue and start just adding lighter highlights on this linen where you can imagine this light is just catching catching the linen and again it looks quite messy to start with but it does all come together when we start blending it I'm going to add some, some highlights to this top layer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the smudge brushes here. And from my basic brush set, I'm going to select the wet smudge. I'm going to increase the slice slightly up to, let's say about 12%, and then keep the opacity at 100 now what I'm going to do, this, this brush acts as a kind of wet watercolour brush, so it's kind of blending the colours as you go. So what I'm going to do, raising my, my stylus off the screen every now and again, just start smudging, like rubbing these colours together, and they'll start kind of bleeding into each other, and it just creates a lot more smooth, smoothness to the, the illustration. So just work around all your colours. Remember to lift your stylus so you don't keep dragging, you know, a darker blue across. Lifting it, blending it. Start by putting your stylus in the area that you kind of want to work in. So, for example, if I want this blue to kind of like spread up a little bit, I, I start with my stylus in it. Tap down, raise up, and just start working along the screen. And again, you can be quite loose with this. It does, once the illustrations all come together and you've got chairs and, you know, all the place settings in place, this just adds a lot of depth. It doesn't need to be super detailed. And the aim is to be able to create, you know, fairly quick concept illustrations for your clients. But alternatively, you can sit and make these really detailed if you're doing you know, a uh, detailed presentation or you just kind of want to make this look as realistic as possible. Over time you'll develop your style and it'll all come together. Okay, so now I've kind of done the, the bottom half of this, I'm just going to work up to the top here and just start making sure the smudging that I've done at the bottom kind of merges nicely with that at the top. And then again on the top of this table, let's just make this a little bit more subtle. And I think for a very quick draft, this is pretty good. And get rid of the light source arrow. So now what you can do, you can just leave it like this. Um, I'm going to group them together so you can edit and move it together. So what you're going to do is just swipe these to the right, select group. And now with the group selected, you're able to come in and resize, move, flip this, this layer as a whole. And you can still come back into the clipping layer and make any edits you need to make.
Um, a, a sort of stylistic choice is with this top layer, what I can do, because this is basically just the, the, the initial outline that we used, um, you can toggle this on and off and see whether you like it or not. You might think that this does more natural effect or you might like that it's outlined. Um, I actually think I don't want it fully on and I don't want it fully off, so I'm going to select this N. Uh, I'm just going to reduce the opacity down a little bit and you can see mm, just kind of there. It shows the outline still, but it's not kind of too defined. And then another trick is once you've got this blue table and then if it's a linen you use often in your designs, you can reuse this over and over again. You do not need to redo this piece ever again. So with this um, group selected, you can minimize it. What I do is have a collection of pieces that I can reuse in different illustrations. So I would swipe this whole group to the left, duplicate it, tap on it, and flatten it. And what this has done is just reduce this group of three layers down to one layer. And now what I can do if I want is just drag, like tap on the stylus, hold it down and move it off the screen. You'll see that green plus appear. And now if you wanted to, you can go into your gallery, open another canvas and drop it in. And there's the new layer in here. So once you've created these sort of items, you can kind of use and reuse them as many times as you like. Um, so that's the tutorial for today. Um, I'm going to have lots more tutorials coming soon on adding chairs and candles, vases, florals, greenery. So um, if you like the video, please subscribe below and I'll see you soon.